In the last couple of videos we have been looking at all the different theorems that Euclid came up with. Now we are in a position, now that we know all of the different theorems, to be able to combine a couple of them into one question and this is typical of an exam. So in this question we are given that ECF is a tangent and the first question says that we need to determine the size of angle D1. Okay, so D1 is over here. Now, have a look at this shape over here. How many sides does that shape have? Well, that's 1 at D, 2 at A, 3 at C, and 4 at B. You can ignore this line in the middle. We're just looking at the outside. And so remember, if a four-sided shape touches a circle in, at each four, of the four corners, we know it's a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, we watched we, we looked at previous videos on cyclic quadrilaterals and we explained their different properties. One of them was that if you have a cyclic quadrilateral, the, so let me draw one over here, we said that the outside angle, so for example this angle, is always going to be equal to the inside angle that is exactly opposite to that one. So it won't be this one or that one over there, it's going to be the one that goes right across to the other side. So if we have a look at D1, which angle is opposite to that? Well, that's going to be this angle over here, C. And so we can't say, oh no, so we can say D1. We can say that D1 will be equal to 70 degrees, and that's due to the exterior angle equal to the interior opposite angle. The next question wants us to find C1, so angle C1, which is this one over here. Now have a look here, we have a tangent, and if we look at this chord AC, well now we have a tangent and a chord. Now remember there is a theorem known as the tan chord theorem, which tells us that the angle in between the tangent and the chord, which is C1, will always be equal to any other angle that is made by that chord. So let's see which other angles are made by this chord. So for example, we could go from A and we could go up to D, and then C could go up to B. So you see now that's a problem. They didn't get to the same place. However, what if we rather went this way with A, and then C goes like that, now they're getting to angle B. So chord AC forms angle B. And so the tan chord theorem tells us that C1 would then be equal to 40 degrees and the reason would be the tan chord theorem. And remember if that doesn't make sense to you then there are videos on the tan chord theorem.